Hello everybody and welcome back to Hollow Knight. In the previous episode, we attempted the third Pathion yet again. I have a feeling this one's going to trick us out for quite a long time, along with the fourth one, which will be our 112%. Uh, but yes, it's going to be some difficult stuff. I'm going to slightly change up our charm build here, just to try and go for a slightly more aggressive um, sort of build. I'm going to go with the Starwood Shell and Steady Body. What this is going to do is, basically, we um, have sort of a longer period of... of, 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 of of invincibility after being hit and this means that we um, don't push ourselves away with our own nail so this should help us out being aggressive and I have a sort of maybe tactic going into the later fights because you do get a bench I'm feeling maybe once we get into the later fights we, tw we switch up our charm uh, set up a little bit to be a bit more defensive just so we can last longer so basically just absolutely whale on this guy Absolutely whale on him. Obviously, we won't be able to heal quite as much as normal, but that's 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 fine. But there you go, look at that. Gotta be careful for those bees coming down. But yeah, we won't be able to heal quite as quick as we have done before, but I think the, the sort of interim period between fights is gonna be more than enough time to heal anyways. And I'm just gonna try and chase him as much as I can. Okay, he's doing this attack. Whenever he does this one, oh, I was going to say we have time to heal, but I got hit anyways. Uh, but yeah, I'm just thinking that quick focus, it's been alright for us, but it's not really been anything really... How am I still getting hit by that? It's not been anything really special for us. I just don't think we need it. Oh my god. Getting hit so much against attacks I really shouldn't be getting hit against. Uh, but then, I think maybe later on we go for a, for a sort of defensive, um, maybe spell build. I think that might be good. But I've sort of got these first fights down now. I think I think I, I can kind of struggle sometimes on um, the Zert fight. But I think apart from that, all the rest, I'm pretty much fine on. Zert's a bit more down to random chance. But this guy is a piece of piss. Literally just smack him about as much as you possibly can. Like, that's all that's to this one. All that's to it is smacking him about. And once he goes into his next, like, resting phase, he's basically dead. He's just keeping up with him. We're, we're not quite fast enough to keep up with him, so we can't kill him super quick. But there you go. He's dead. Yeah, we've really got these ones down now. Um, it's basically easy at this point, which is annoying, because it means that we're having to go through these fights that we're pretty good at over and over and over again. Ow. But watch this. Yup. Yup. Like, absolutely watch this shit. Look at that. I, I walked into the bloody um, poison then. But that guy's absolutely super easy with Salwood Shell on. We can just sit there. Okay, this guy, I've learned that what we need to do with him is let him let him bow. Someone mentioned that. I did figure that out towards the end of the episode, but someone mentioned that's definitely how it works. Damn. We don't need to heal against this guy either if we, can, if we can help it because we get a bench at the end of this fight. So we're absolutely fine to not heal. Unless we really need to, obviously. It depends how aggressive I get. That one, I know that we can hit him three times on that. Okay, now we can heal here. We might as well. We've got plenty of time. If you get him to do that into the corner, you can get quite a few hits on him. It's just difficult sort of predicting when he's going to do that attack and getting that uh, damage in there. Unfortunately, this attack is unlike the one on Nightmare King Grim. We, he doesn't actually let us know what health percent he's on. It's just random, which is a shame because I do like a good way to know how much health he has left. But... Come on, boy. Give us a chance. Yeah, it's just difficult with this phase because you basically just have to wait. Um, I might well cut this episode up depending on how long it takes me to beat this because I would like to beat this challenge this episode. 
I would like to beat it this episode, so it really depends on how long it takes me. But I might, I might well cut it up. If it ends up taking me more than like an hour, then I'll probably cut it up. I've only got a few more hits on this guy. Only got a few more hits on him. There you go. We got him. We got him. So yeah, now, now I'm thinking we go for a bit more of a of a spell orientated build, and I think that'll work quite well. It's going to be difficult sort of figuring out the best build to go for here, but I'm thinking if we take. Let's just take everything off for now. So obviously we want Shaman Stone and Spell Twister. They're kind of the, the two obvious ones. But I'm thinking maybe go with Grubfly, Sprint Master, and Weaver Song. Because then we'll, we'll be able to garner a soul without us having to actually do anything. And then just go with Soul Catcher as well. And try this out. This might be terrible. This might be an awful idea. But I'm thinking it'll be pretty good. He's not dead yet? What the hell? There you go. Now he's dead. As long as we can make sure to heal up at the end of each battle, I think this is going to be a really good way to go. Because so many of these fights don't require us to, um... Don't require us to actually heal that often. Or, um... Actually smack around the target. Like Ubu or whatever he's called. But this guy, I've, I've kind of learned the best way to deal with this guy is to do Desolate Dives. Really? You did that instantly? A suit? What's with all the babies, dude? But yeah, the best way to deal with this guy is just desolate dive the shit out of him. Okay, when he does this, we obviously have to use our nail. But this is actually a really good opportunity for us to um, get off some damage with our nail and also gain some soul. I really, really hate when he does this attack. Oh god, I jumped really, really wrong there. Okay, this is getting ridiculous with the babies you're spawning, mate. It's getting absolutely ridiculous. Can you stop spawning all of your children, please? What the hell? He never normally spawns this many babies. But the iframes we are getting from um Okay, I need to I need to kill these things. They're getting on my nerves. The iframes we're getting from Desolate Dive is probably the best thing about it. We get so many, so like so much time to dodge his attacks. Like, look at that. We were, we were directly on top of that attack, and we still managed to dodge it. I'm really surprised we haven't actually managed to kill him yet. Oh, I really messed up there. I used the wrong attack. No. There you go, he's dead. See, the only problem here now is we're going into the next fight with very little HP. Um, and the next fight does do two hearts of damage. So maybe that one isn't the best to do this build with. Or we just have to get better at it. But I do attribute that piece of shit, that horrible fight, to going to the amount of children that he spawned. I swear, he never, he never does it that badly. Okay, it's the chasey one. Oh, god damn. We're so dead here. I've messed up terribly. I've messed up terribly, and our spiders aren't doing anything to help us here either, so this is a shame. Well, actually, I've just realized our spiders are not doing anything to help us, but they're also doing quite a lot to hinder us because they keep destroying the, um, the jellyfish. I've just realized. Oh my god, what was I meant to do there? Alright, let me heal up here. Put. He's gonna spawn more of them. It's good that he does it while he's down low. Okay, get a bit of healing going off. Okay, that was a really bad mess up by me, but I somehow recovered. You're really going to have to stop killing all my babies. Like, well, no, my babies are going to have to stop killing all the uh, jellyfish. Look, it just killed it instantly. They're not even getting a chance to float, like, up towards me. So, this is just a war of attrition now.
Like, how am I meant to get that jellyfish? I'm not, am I? Ow. Okay, that missed. Damn it. So that... That fight there maybe isn't the best with this build. Right. It's a shame we don't get the bench after that fight. Otherwise, I think this would be a pretty cool build to go with. But we, we can't use that build all the way through as much as I'd like to because of um, the collector. You can't gain soul against him. Or it's very hard to, at least, and it becomes a very difficult fight. Um, so that would shell. Steady body. Quick slash. Long nail. I'll try a variation of that next time without the babies and see how, see how it works. Because may, maybe if I just do it without them, it'll be fine. Because I would have had that fight over with sooner. If not for them guys. Right, you're dead. Oh, you should be at least. Come on, there you go. That guy's super, super easy. I used to have a lot of problems with him, but now I've realized that you can properly face tank him with basically any build. Quit! And get a heal. But yeah, if I can just sort of properly learn how to use Desolate Dive against, um, against Zert, I might be able to keep a bit more HP in that fight and do a bit better. One more hit. No, two more. Three more. There you go. I'm starting to gauge the enemy's HP a little better now as well, so I can sort of time things a little better. But yeah, this guy is just so difficult if you're just using soul. Ow. That was actually really, really good there. Really good. I ended him into his next phase a little early there. There you go. I left this fight with a little lower HP than normal, but that's fine. Because his death animation is so long, it gives you a chance to heal like four or five times. That's some of the good things about, like, this guy as well does the exact same thing. It really depends on how much this guy rolls as well. If this guy rolls a lot, he becomes a bit of a pain. But when he does this attack, it's fine. You can just keep hitting him. There you go. Easy. Easy, easy. We're getting through these very quickly now. It's just, it's just this guy that takes a long time. Everything else we're doing really just fine at. There you go, got three hits against him there. What? I was I was facing the wrong way somehow then? Right, does his first big ball attack, big puffer fish mode, bubblegum mode, whatever you want to call it. It's a shame you can't hit him in that bit there. Got three hits on him during that phase as well. Another one on bubblegum phase. God damn it. Annoying when he basically chains them into each other and combos them. It's a waste of my goddamn time, boy. What? He dived the wrong way there. Another bubblegum phase. My god. Come on, boy. What are you playing at? What are you playing at? Hmm? Oh, that was terrible by me. I didn't get any hits on him there. Alright, get some heals going because I'm a little bit low. I want to be able to tank him a little more. I think he's almost dead now, though. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Right. So this time, let's try, try a slightly modified version of that build. 
But first of all, let's, let's heal up in the um, healing waters. Right, so let's go with... Shaman Stone and Spell Twister are just obvious. Um, is there anything else that would be really good with spells? Soul Eater. I suppose we could just go with like full on like soul shittery. The problem with that is when we get to when we get to Nailmaster Sage, we're gonna have such a big problem. Like I think genuinely the um the way to go is with our babies. Weaver Song, Sprint Master, Reply, and then what did we go as our, as our last one? I can't remember what we had as our last one. A spell twist. I, I just think that that's like the way to go, even though that's what screwed us over last time. I think if we can if we can like work it properly this time. There you go. I think if we can work it properly this time. The little weavers just give us so much extra soul on top of everything. If you're wondering why using Sprint Master alongside everything else, it makes the um, it makes the babies move faster, which obviously helps us out. They also do deal do deal a little bit of damage. Grub Song makes them. Uh... Damn it! I didn't get my uh, thingy off my desolate dive off then. Okay, I'm taking this. He's doing all the babies again. Okay, I, I always like to heal while he's doing that attack. Damn it. We just gotta be careful with the timing on our desolate dives. If we get the timing wrong, it can it can really mess us up. Okay, there's his first phase there. But as you can see, we're not really having to hit him with our nail at all. And obviously, we have Grub Song on as well, which really helps out. Oh my god. He's just jumping right into me every time. But we're able to dodge basically all of his annoying attacks. With Desolate Dives. Like, even that one, to some extent, we're able to dodge. I really badly there. There you go. We did him in a way better time with way more HP left that time. So we can definitely improve on this. This next fight, we've just got to be fast. We've got to be fast. It's the only way to go. I don't know if hitting, hitting him as a target actually does anything. Oh, damn. I was a bit slow on that there. A little bit slow. What he's going to do is... Oh, wait, what? I thought he was going to spawn in the jellyfish. Normally he spawns it in around now. He'll do it now though, won't he? Surely? Yeah, there you go. Right, so I think in here... Stay under there. Whoa, what, um, excuse me. Right, let's heal up. Okay, good. That was much better than before. But, one of them did spawn under my feet and deal two hearts of damage, which I do not appreciate. Another thing about this as well is it's really hard to tell when he's going to stop. Excuse me. Oh, I just desolate dived that by accident. Why did I do that? Oh, damn. Oh, I've messed that up. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, we got him, we got him. Oh, that was a bad bit of damage to take there. What? He's not dead? I thought that killed him. I thought two of those killed him. Maybe it's with the unbreaking nail, I'm getting confused. Not um, You know what I mean, unbroken friend. Okay, now he's dead, but I'm also low HP here, so... Not great, not great. Now we've got to fight Hornet. We've got to fight Hornet with a lot of soul, while also trying to find windows to heal, so... Not the best. She's shoring us, which is fine. I'm okay with Sorge. Not that sure, come on. She 
It's getting a bit close. She's getting a bit close. Okay, she did a good denial as far as. Do it. Yeah, there you go. That's what I want. Damn. Damn. She's a cruel bitch. I need you to throw your nail at me so I can heal. And not just jump away all the time. Holy shit. Holy shit, this woman's cruel as fuck. She's cruel. Okay, and now you throw your nail. Okay, this is going awfully. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is going so badly. I feel like this this arena, this combat arena, is really full of shit. Are you kidding me? I feel like she's just she's just a bitch. She's just a bitch. Why is that arena so full of shit? I can't see anything. God damn you, whore. Right. Fuck this build. Build shit. Don't like it. God damn it. Don't like that at all. That was not fair. How the hell am I meant to beat? Bloody Nail Sage Sly. If I can't beat Hornet. I thought, I thought it was dead. There you go. Now he's dead. I can get through these at record speed. That gets to, to horn and it's like, nah. You're screwed. And he does this attack. Big load of bollocks. Oh my god, stop it, mate. Stop it. Stop wasting my time. Oh, stop wasting my time, god damn it. God damn. It's so difficult. Come on, you collector. Bad that. That was really bad. I messed up there. Seems like it's worth getting hit there because he stays around for longer. Okay, so if, if, if he hits you, he actually stays around for a bit longer. It's worth getting hit by him there. Good to know. Good to know. I don't think so, mate. There we go. You're all dead now. Cry away, little boy. Cry away. God damn, why does he have to have this attack? It's so annoying. Wait, wait. 
Oh, why did I jump there? That was so stupid. The fa that face is really weird as well. I don't really get what that face is. Oh, come on now. Stop it with this. Oh my god. Do you have to? Do you absolutely have to? Oh, you dived the wrong way, you stupid. You're getting to be a real nuisance, you are. A real nuisance. There you go. Right. Let's try a bit of a hybrid build. Let's take off that and that. And go with that. Go with a hybrid build. We need to be able to deal decent damage with our nail, but I also need to be able to use spells, because spells have such high damage with the um, shaman stone, so. Come on, sir. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not dealing with these. <laughs> oh, you, you, you just shoot the fly directly into me, why don't you? God damn you, shit. Okay, now that's just, that's just evil, Zert. Oh my god, he's such a dick. He's such a dick. Die, Zert. I'm just killing you. God, he's such a dick. He's like, I'm gonna spawn something that does two full hearts of damage right on top of you, mate. Right on top of you. Yeah, cool, thanks. And then this boss is just pointless. This is such a bad design for a boss fight boss. You don't even fight it. You don't even fight it. Why? What's the point? Oh my god. And I, Because of the brightness on the backdrop of the screen, you can't fucking see where the electric's going to come up. It's just not good. It's just stupid. doing to me now. Nope, not the follow one that I thought it was going to be. What the fuck? How did that not hit you, boo? Food? Dude. <laughs> Fucking god. No. 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 I spat all over my screen right there. I'm getting hit.
Okay, ignore my fucking moaning. That was the literal first try after the recording. Literal first try after my recording. I think it's just the mindset of recording is terrible for me. <laughs> I beasted that then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for complaining. I love you, Hollow Knight. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. I love you. I love you, Hollow Knight. Hmm. Forgive my whining. I will treat you with respect. God Seeker mode unlocked. Oh shit, boy. I love you, Hollow Knight. I'm sorry, people. I complained. The gods got angry. If you're wondering what build I used to beat that then, I basically changed out a few things. I went with Shape of Un, um, Unbreakable Heart, and Sprint Master. That's all I did. Different. Anyways, it worked. I'm happy. Uh, I'm sorry that I complained a lot. I might even cut out the complaining. I, I, I got really angry. And just, just, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.